They made me. Please, I made me. They made me. Didn't want to. Stolen. Come closer, closer. I'm leaving the house now. Yeah. Oh, uh, ghost hunting, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yep. No. Let me get in the car. I'll tell you about it in a minute. I'm leaving the house now. Yeah. Oh, ghost hunting, I guess. Mm -hmm. Tell you about it in a minute. I don't need no disrespect, but this is no way. I can't listen to you, I do this my own way. Put on the heat.
It's a little foggy out this morning. I'm headed to Walmart right now. Gotta buy some uh, batteries for my glucose meter. Yeah. The sugar's a ticking time bomb. Right. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, you get those pictures I sent you? Yeah, that's a real thing, a ghost. Yep, yep, that's it. Yeah, yeah, look at him again. The reason I sent him to you is because you know about this stuff. Yeah, I hooked up with someone that, uh, uh... Hey, uh, did you get those videos I sent? Or not videos, but pictures? Yeah. Yeah, they were sent to me. Par paranormal activity, yeah. Real thing. They're the real thing. I just need to know what you think. I mean, I sent them to you because you, uh, you kind of know about this stuff. Right. Yeah, look, get back to me. It's, uh, coming closer. Closer. Coming closer. I met a genealogist online <clears throat> a few weeks ago, right, and it's not a subject that I'm necessarily interested in. I don't uh, care to know who your great-great-grandfather was or what your grandmother did, you know, during the Depression. I don't know. It's just something I have never had an interest in. But uh, this lady that I ran into on social media kind of has a, a different approach. She, uh, she works for private individuals and she, she believes it's a way of finding out who, who we really are, where we really came from. And how to uh, improve your life, I guess, through through this.
I eat dinner here a couple nights a week. The place is pretty good. The crowd makes the music, and I make the words. I sit here and wonder, can people see the same image as I do in the pictures that I make? Can they see the faces? Do they understand what I'm trying to do? I sit here and the waitresses walk back and forth serving beer. The sports fans. <clears throat> they told me not to do this, but <clears throat> when you can't sleep, I'm constantly testing. Keep the sugars up, see if it's down. <sighs> see where I'm at. The doc tells me nothing heals if your blood's over 200. You're so close, you can't even see the entire picture. Just these numbers that represent the amount of poisons coursing through your bloodstream. You try to hold it back. You give yourself shots and gag on apple cider vinegar. But still, the numbers climb higher and higher until you're walking around like a zombie. They get too low, and you go running for something sweet. Try and bring it back up. You don't know what the balance is. You just try to keep it low. Try to keep it from killing you. But your heart, you know your heart isn't going to take it for much longer. Why don't you keep plugging away? Trying to see the whole picture. Wondering if your liver's going to hold out. And craving sweets and things you don't need. Steak dinners. Vegetables. All the good stuff. And still it climbs higher. And higher. And through it all. You tell yourself... I'm not dead yet. It's my first canvas in over a year. I had this canvas sitting on the easel for, I don't know when I bought it last year sometime. It's a cityscape destroyed by fire, fire underneath. And all the ugly faces, 
that I found in the picture, discovered while I was painting. I didn't paint them. They just appear in the canvas. Yeah, America on fire. I mean, why is it easier to paint something ugly and grotesque than it is to paint something beautiful? For me, it's always been easier. There's beauty and imperfection.